Google Slides gives us a few options when it comes to formatting our images. Um, if you take a look at my toolbar right now, you don't see any options. But once I click on an object itself, those format options pop up. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on those and it opens up a new sidebar. Uh, a couple things that I can play with, the size and position, one of them that I really like here is the idea of rotating and flipping. I'm able to do that simply. Another one that I use quite frequently is the recolor. <clears throat> If you take a look here, I've got two pawns that are red, and if I want to use them for a game, I want a different color, so instead of searching, I'm just going to go ahead and select a different color, and now I have a blue one, so that kind of comes in handy. Um, not all things can be recolored, but some images can, and so if they can, it's really handy. The adjustments. Uh, you've got your transparency, your brightness, and contrast. I'm a huge fan of transparency because you can really start to move images into the background um, to create kind of some cool things with it. Uh, something else here is your drop shadow and your reflection. And once you decide to use a drop shadow, you can see I have a little black line now. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. I can change its color and transparency, so it gives me a little play. And then, of course, reflection and I can play around a little bit with what I do there. So not necessarily a ton of format options, um, but I think these five pieces here can definitely um, enhance the images that you're able to find. Okay, one quick reminder, you have to have an image selected in order to see the format options here in the toolbar. So if I select it, it'll pop up. If not, you won't be able to find them.